putting the nation on edge. A wave of bomb threats emailed across the country, including right here in North Texas. And we still do not know who is behind it. At least 11 local cities received the message. Schools, universities, other businesses, too. News 8's Matt Howerton spoke to experts about the attack. It was simple chaos delivered in the least expecting way through the highways of the Internet. This was not something that uh, we had seen before. Across North Texas and America, hundreds of businesses and agencies received this email today. Its message, scary and to the point. Send us payment via Bitcoin or we'll blow up your building. Some of the 911 calls that we received, these people were panicked. Uh, in North Texas alone, at least 54 incidents were reported. Dallas had the most with nearly 20. Irving reported the second most with 11. And Arlington. The first couple of calls, there was a lot of resources that went out there. Had eight. Thankfully, the FBI deemed the emails a hoax. But Lieutenant Chris Cook says the department had to take each one seriously, tying down resources. Still pulls officers away from answering other calls for service or being proactive in patrols. And that's just North Texas. No, this is the first time we actually see something at this scale. Criminologist Alex Del Carmen says to think of the big picture for Americans. There's already speculation that this attack came from overseas. What they're doing is they're paying attention very closely as to how we're responding to that. What are the current capabilities that we have? How many resources have been tied down to this? What are people vulnerable to? Meaning, copycats may try to do something like this again on a battlefield we can't see. And tonight, as we speak, the FBI is looking into where those emails came from, the source of those emails, and what we're told by one law enforcement source, investigators are taking a hard look at Eastern Europe. Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News. All right.